This is Banjo, and today I'm going over how to create and edit flight plans and add waypoints to the PVI-800 navigation console. The first step is to place it into edit mode using the rotary selector just below it. Next in the Abris computer, enter the setup page, units, and change latitude and longitude to use the decimal system as used by the PVI-800 navigation console. The next step is to find a location where we wish to set up a waypoint for our flight plan. And I'll do this by using the search mode and searching for airbase and finding Kutaisi Airbase. We can do this by using the name key, which is key 4, or by scrolling through the rotary selector. As we see, Kutaisi Airbase. Selecting info, we can see the coordinates of the airbase. With the PVI-800 on edit mode, we can select waypoint mode, select 1 to edit waypoint 1, and then enter the coordinate data. Prefix it with either north or east for latitude and longitude accordingly, since we are in Georgia. And once the information for latitude and longitude is entered correctly, we can press the enter key to store it on the selected waypoint key, in this case, key 1. And finally, to set a direct waypoint to the location we selected in the Abris, we can select the 2 key, which will select us a one waypoint course to our location on the Abris system. Alternatively, we can program a new flight plan entirely by going into the nav page, selecting plan, and by selecting the select key and unload, we can unload our current plan and draw up a new one. We do this by selecting draw, which will draw a waypoint directly on our location as waypoint 1. Next, by selecting the edit key and then insert, we can add a second waypoint. Next, place the waypoint onto the location you wish it to be by using the rotary selector on the Abris. Right-clicking it, we'll select between up and down. Right-clicking it again, we'll select between left and right. And finally, place the waypoint by selecting the Add key. Drop as many waypoints as you wish, and once you're finished, select the Plan key to enter the Flight Plan page. At this point, we can see our flight plan, the coordinates of each waypoint, and currently selected waypoint. In this case, I'm going to change the information I entered into waypoint 1 for the PVI to the new waypoint that I drew up when I created this new flight plan. So I will simply copy the coordinate data from the selected waypoint into the PVI 800. Since there's no direct link between the PVI navigation console and the Abris computer system, it is imperative that the waypoints be entered correctly and match between the flight plan and the selected waypoints in the PVI-800. For the final step, I'll enter the second waypoint's coordinate data as seen highlighted in blue underneath the currently selected waypoint in the Abris computer system. Place the PVI back in operation mode. At this point, to select the flight plan as active, we select key 4 and make it the active flight plan, at which point we select the waypoint we wish to move to. As we can see, waypoint 1 we're sitting on top of waypoint 2, it's off to our right. We can see this through the heading tape at the top of our HUD. As I select the waypoints, waypoint 2 will have us banking to the right, whereas waypoint 1 we're sitting on top of. 